Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center, along with Matthew and Noah. I'm Henry. CBS Sports compiled its list of what the 100 best NFL players in 2023, and no surprise who came out on top. Patrick Mahomes is the clear top choice, fresh off his second Super Bowl title and two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons. At just 27 years old, Mahomes is on a current pace to be in the conversation as one of the greatest NFL players of all time. Quarterbacks went one, two, three in CBS's players' rankings. The Bills' Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow of the Bengals was number three. Two defensive ends came in at four and five. Nick Bosa of the 49ers, followed by Miles Garrett, last year's number one player, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald slipped to the ninth spot in part because he was hurt last season and his production on the field dropped off. One of the big question marks entering the upcoming NBA season centers around John Moran. Memphis Grizzlies all-star guard will start the season serving a minimum 25 game suspension for conduct detrimental to the league. The suspension could exceed 25 games if he does not meet the conditions to return. Morant will be ineligible for any public league or team activities during the suspension. The Grizzlies have responded well to Morant's absences in the past. Tyus Jones is one of the best backup point guards in the league. Sorry. Memphis went 11 and 10 without Morant last season, but in the 2021 22 season, the Grizzlies went 20 and 5 when Morant was not available to play. The college football season is fast approaching with seven games scheduled for week zero on August 26th, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC, opening their seasons early. The Fighting Irish face Navy in Dublin, Ireland for the first time since two, uh, 2012, and Southern Cal hosts San Jose State. Both USC and Notre Dame are expected to be in the college football playoff chase this upcoming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hartman transferred to Notre Dame and USC has defending Heisman trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Most college football uh, teams begin their season the first week of, weekend of September for the traditional week one schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance resurgence with internal projections pointing to a full season attendance lift of six to eight percent. That is encouraging news for MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who says 22 of 30 MLB Cubs are currently up in attendance. A year ago, Major League Baseball experienced its lowest attendance figures since 1997. Manfred points out that there has been strong fan reception to MLB's pitch clock, larger bases, and a ban on, on extreme defensive shifts, all of which have generated an immediate and sustained re reduction in average game titles. Since adding the pitch clock in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than in 2022. MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. The United States women's soccer team goes for a three-peat at this summer's women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 2015. England, European champion, is also one of the top contenders. This year's field is the largest ever, with 32 teams competing, compared to just 24 in previous tournaments. More than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the competition. When the United States beat the Netherlands in the 2019 finals, an average of 82.2 million viewers watched worldwide. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co anchors, Matthew and Noah, I'm Henry. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting uh, Center.